Dela Wright, my envy this. Welcome. True that um, whatever you sow in this world is what you get to reap because, of course, we do know that um, the rain fall on both the just and the unjust. You can never be in this world and act as though, act as though you are invincible. And that is what this is about. Report reaching us allegedly right now is that anti it be um, um, a slum and was rushed to the hospital. Like it was a very serious situation as we are hearing. And they said that, you know, everybody was so worried. What is going on? Why is she going back and forth, back and forth? They said um, when she uh, was resuscitated, they started probing to find out what happened to her because this had happened inside her um, uh, room, a bedroom, and she said she saw a pot, like somebody dropped a pot for her. That is a report in front of her that she saw it. And unfortunately, nobody saw that part. She was the only one who saw it. So obviously, the report is appearing and disappearing in front of them. And, you know, whatever you saw for an innocent person, you get to repeat. As it is alleged, we got a report that, um, of course, um, there was a report that was planted, and all there were report that were planted. And, you know, these parts were not supposed to have been removed the way they were removed. But apparently, because, of course, everybody is seeking liberation, they removed them for a reason and threw them out and burned them, burned them out and burned them, that those pots were supposed to be thrown inside water. And because that did not happen, there's something called repercussion, and that's the repercussion that is happening to, you know, um, Auntie um, uh, uh, Ikmi. They say she's been going back and forth really, really ill and unhappy and stressed out and everything. So apparently everything she has been projecting on our baby girl is what is returning back to her. Now, the Saint Ikbi is going through a very serious wahala right now. Like, he's, she's going through so much, she does not, like, like it's almost as if there's no hiding place for um, um, uh, Auntie Ikbi. Now, you know that um, the, the big lion himself happens to be a very great man. Yes, so he's a great man. He has a good temperament. He's a man that loves people. He's a man that, you know, because of his temperament, he may not necessarily react when he wants to react. And that is why they say that, you know, everybody is wondering why these things are going on over and over again. But they say one thing that did not work for, you know, um, the big lion, and uh, that's Kabiesi himself, happens to be because um, the man is um, had already gone to, you know, marry these people. And he would never want to put himself in a place where people turn around and blame him. And they said he had already um, gotten a name, a king that cannot keep a wife. And because of that, that has played an integral role in his thinking so that he does not want any situation that will make women come and go, come and go, come and go. And that's the reason why, you know, things have been going on and on and on. It's almost as if he's not able to deal with it. So right now, we do know how these people have treated Olori Naomi. They have tried the living daylight out of this woman. They have, you know, there's nothing that has not been done to Olori Naomi. But to the glory of God Almighty, um, everything is looking really, really pretty right now for this woman. And that is because what has been planted was re removed. The word of God says that any tree that is not planted in the name of the Lord that is to work against you will never succeed. Now, apart from the fact that Naomi is a woman of God, the Bible says, touch no man anointed and do my prophet no harm. And so it might not necessarily, well, maybe it's the reper uh, repercussion of what was done, but how about the fact that they kept fighting with a woman of God? I have said this time and time again, you may not believe in what other people believe in, but you, you have to respect the belief of other people. If you learn how to respect the belief system of other people, you will stay out of trouble. And this is exactly what is going on. They say Auntie Ikbi um, um, saw that pot. You know that recently they've been talking about the pot, how the repercussion is coming. They said she was just lying down, that she was lying down and she saw that pot in a mirror. It was looking as though somebody was holding the pot. And it was looking 
feel as though the person was bringing the pot towards her. Yes, the person was bringing the pot towards her, and the person kept coming and coming and coming. She was screaming, and the pot was coming. She was screaming, and the pot was coming. And because the pot was coming, they said she could not bear it. Her heart could not take it. They said she just slumped, and that was how she was rushed to the hospital. Now, they said that the, the resting place for those pots has to be um, 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 in the water, okay? The resting place... Sorry about that, okay? And so we heard that the resting place for that pot is supposed to be under the water. That if anybody, that the law they gave them when they went to acquire the pot was that if for any reason anybody sees it and they are removing it, it must return back to water, like under the water. But now when they remove the pot, that um, it, it, they, they now went to go and burn it. And that is why this is happening. And they said this is not just happening to Ikbi, it's also happening to Blue Blue. And they said that it's been a very toxic, like very serious, toxic week, weeks for them. They've been going back and forth. Like when you see them, they said they are okay or they are looking fine, but internally they are bad. Like when they go behind closed doors, they are bad, they are crying. They've been looking for ways so that, you know, we heard that Ikbe's um, elder started accusing Kabiesi that why is it that when Kabiesi, when Ikbe returns back to the palace, Ikbe doesn't feel that way. I mean, when Ikbe, when Kabiesi invites Ikbe, Ikbe will be normal until when the time elapses, Ikbe will start going up and down and feeling very uncomfortable that, that Kabiesi knows what is happening to Ikbi, that Kabiesi will have to help and do something to um, um, uh, uh, take away Ikbi's suffering. And Kabiesi says he doesn't know what they are talking about, that he has tried to stop them time and time again. Now, a lot of people are saying that perhaps it's this tsunami that they have been attacked, that is attacking, that is coming back to them. And others are saying, yes, so that is the Biri pot and all of that. They've been going round and round and round to try and do something about the Biri pot, but they say that the final place to do any ritual for the Biri pot has got to be the palace of the Oni of Ife. And you do know that KBSC will not give them permission to do any ritual in the palace of the Oni of Ife. And that is the problem right now. They said that Biri report has been appearing to her and when the report appears her heart will not be able to take it she'll be running kitty kata kata kitty like this last time they said the report appeared and this time they said it wasn't just the appearing and disappearing and the report was coming towards her as though somebody was marching forward with the report marching forward um, to her with the be report. So right now, the cry is that they should beg KBAC to allow them to go and perform the ritual. But you do know that KBAC cannot allow it because, of course, the palace of the Oni of Ife does not personally belong to KBAC. KBAC um, is a king that people made. And so they have to go through the same processes to um, allow this to happen. Because if anything goes wrong, KBAC will be held responsible. And we heard, as it is rumored and alleged, this is what is going on as we are hearing. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.